What do you think? Do you think this is some kind of like magical makeup applicator or like possibly a new hat? Alrighty then, what's up? I am Jacqueline Schultz and I am back with another review for you today. Today's product review is another kitchen gadget. <laughs> if you know me and you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I am always super excited about my kitchen gadgets, but I have to admit this one was not my idea. The credit is fully going to my husband on this one and I don't give him credit that often. Now my husband wasn't cooking in the kitchen, but he was hovering like he sometimes does over my shoulder while I was cooking and I was straining a pot of pasta and he saw that I strained the pasta into a strainer or some people call it a colander, colander, col whatever you call it. I call it a strainer that was placed at the bottom of my sink and he was like completely disgusted and he's like, what? Are you doing that thing is touching the bottom of our sink and you're pouring the pasta and stuff into there and then we eat it that is gross and I tried to explain to him that there were like little legs and feet on the bottom of our strainer so it's not actually touching the bottom of the sink but he was still totally grossed out and he says there has to be a better way or a better strainer out there I tried to explain that I've never seen one before and he's like we have to invent one but then we started like researching and looking it up on Amazon and we don't have to invent one because in fact there is another option this right here is the kitchen gizmo Dun, da, da, da. It is an alternative to the typical strainers that you and I both know. Basically, the messaging behind this kitchen gizmo is the old timey strainers that you and I both know and use are like rotary phones. They're old school, they're out of style, they're not as cool as this little kitchen gizmo because this little kitchen gizmo strainer just attaches and clips right on to every single pot and pan you own regardless of the size. It comes with these little clips, it won't fall off, even if you have really heavy like potatoes that you're straining, no matter what, it sticks on plus it's bendable, it's flexible, it's BPA free, it's dishwasher safe, and it takes up a lot less room in your cupboard, in your pantry, in your drawers, in your kitchen, in your dishwasher, whatever. And we all need that extra space in our kitchen. So I was like, let's give this shiznit a try. So this kitchen gizmo snap and strain strainer is available on amazon it was thirty dollars but it is marked down and i love myself a good deal right now it is available for 16.99 it comes in four different colors black green like the one i got orange and red as a matter of fact the orange one is the least expensive for $14.99 and if I knew that and I looked a little bit more closely, I probably would have gotten the orange one. For some reason, I am probably the only one that didn't know about this thing because it has over 6,700 ratings and it has four and a half stars. This is very promising. First and foremost, it claims it is dishwasher safe. Got to attest to that. It is. I washed it as soon as I got it out of the box, put it in my dishwasher. It did not take up that much space and it's still fine. Next, I wanted to try it out and see if it fit on every single pot and pan that's in my kitchen regardless of the size. So that is exactly what I did. And in fact, it does fit on every single pot and pan. However, I have one pot that is a little bit thicker. It was a, a tiny smidge bit more challenging to hook onto that pot because these clips don't stretch out that far. But nonetheless, I was still able to get it on with barely any struggle. So I'm gonna give that a check. Next up, I decided to give it a try and use it when I was making my son his pasta for lunch. 
Today, I am cooking him veggie pasta because yes, that is the only way I can get him to eat any vegetables. Moms out there, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. You just like sneak those veggies right in wherever you can. Side note, you are not supposed to put this on your pot while it is boiling. You wait until the very end when it is done cooking. So I snapped it right onto that pot, brought it over to the sink and drained the liquid out of it. The cool thing about this strainer is it has a little lip, which makes it easier for you to strain the liquid into another container, like a cup or a bowl in case you have chicken stock or some other kind of liquid that you want to save later on for your cooking. Also, because it's silicone, it doesn't really get hot. I tried to wiggle around the pasta as much as possible to see if this thing would fall off and it stayed on. It was super secure. All in all, it did exactly what it said it was supposed to do. Plus, I did not have to put a strainer at the bottom of my sink and my husband did not have to be completely grossed out. I know there are different size strainers and I could have gotten a bigger one so it doesn't actually touch the bottom of my sink, but at least with this, this is a one size fits all. However, I do have to mention one little thing that might be a downfall. If you compare my strainers that I typically use with this strainer, you can see that the holes in the new silicone kitchen gizmo strainer are actually a lot bigger than my other strainers. Which means if you're trying to strain the liquid out of something that is already super small, like rice or something like that, it may go through these holes. I mean, I don't think it's a problem and I'm definitely still gonna use it, but I thought I should give you a heads up because that's what I do and that's the purpose of a review channel. Overall, I think this is a winner and I'm definitely going to be using it. However, if you already have a set of strainers that you like and you don't have a problem with and you don't wanna upgrade and your husband isn't complaining that it's gross, then maybe this isn't for you. But for everyone else who is interested and likes this little kitchen gizmo like I do, I will include the link in my description. I will also be including this in my Amazon shop where I keep all the products that I've reviewed and all the products that I love and use on a day-to-day -day basis. So I will put the link to my Amazon shop in my description as well. If you enjoyed this video and you like product reviews and you like just discovering new cool things and products in general, then you will probably enjoy my channel. So maybe you want to click that little red subscribe button down there and you could turn on notifications so that you never miss a video. Oh yeah, you can also give this a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see all of you guys again next time, next week, next Friday for our next review. Bye.